You're listening to the Entrepreneur Unleashed podcast, episode number 62. Today, I'm going to show you how you can notice the synchronicity that is full of opportunity for you to receive what you want. It's pretty magical, so stay tuned. Hi, I'm Patty Keating, and I believe entrepreneurs are the future of the world. Over the past two decades, I've built four businesses in alignment with my values, giving me the freedom to live where I want and do what I love. I'm here to tell you that creating your successful business does not require struggle or sacrifice. So how do you create the lifestyle business you love doing only what you love? Welcome to the Entrepreneur Unleashed podcast. Hello and happy Monday. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Entrepreneur Unleashed podcast. I just came up from the bluff on the beach outside in my backyard where I live in California. And if you've been following me at all on Instagram, you know how magical this particular place is because I'm posting about it quite often. And today I'm going to share how I followed the clues and synchronicity to find this condo on this gorgeous bluff and how you can use the same process in your business and your life. There is something powerful and magical about setting intentions. And I want to go back to 2004 when I first read the book, The Power of Intention by Wayne Dyer. And it was the same year that I had started my business, and I named my business Intentions Coaching and Training. Now, in 2004, there weren't very many coaches as far as life coaches. There were barely any business coaches, and so I had to explain what coaching was. (laughs) That's changed as of uh, the last few years. And what I want to share with you today is my observations of the power of intentions. I started coaching people and helping them to get really clear about what it was they wanted and who it was they wanted to become and what would the steps be in order to make that happen. And I saw some real magical results from people when they learned to focus their mind. A few years later, my business was rebranded as the Entrepreneur Unleashed because I was specializing in helping entrepreneurs really remove the blocks and limitations, the self-imposed beliefs that we hold on to in order to become the person they needed to be to get the results they wanted in their business. And so the intention part is still primary in my coaching. And now I have, of course, online digital programs and my mastermind. And one of the first things I do with my clients, whether they be in a program or working with me in the mastermind, is to really get clear about their intention. And when we focus on our intention, we begin to see clues and signs. And so I want to share a story with you today about my most recent experience of synchronicity and the power of intention. About seven years ago, I brought all four of my children to San Diego. I showed them this place that I wanted to move to. (laughs) And we spent several days here checking it out and getting to know the area. While I was here, one of my friends called me up and said, hey, Patty, let's go check out some different areas so that when you do move here, you'll know where you want to be. I'm happy to take you around. So one afternoon, I hopped in the car with my friend Jay And he showed me this little town called Encinitas. And we looked at several houses. I remember walking into this one condo and looking around and my heart just skipped a beat. It was amazing. It was overlooking the ocean. It had just been remodeled. It was about 15, 1600 square feet. Perfect for a mom who 
had raised her kids and then moved to the beach because that was the plan once my youngest son went off to college that I would then move from Portland to San Diego. I remember standing there just taking it in. It was magical and walking up the stairs and turning around and looking at that ocean view. And then just for a moment, I had this limiting belief that, yes, this was a beautiful, magical condo, but it wasn't something I could ever have. Do you ever feel those? Like you're in the middle of this magical, amazing moment, and then all of a sudden your limiting belief pops in and tells you, well, you can't have that. Who do you think you are? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I was having one of those moments. But I just carried, kind of shook it off and went upstairs and looked at the bedrooms. And then, you know, we left. And we completed our fun trip together, all four of us here at the same time. And so seven years went by. My youngest son graduated from high school and chose to go to a small private college in Orange called Chapman, which isn't that far from San Diego. And in the interim, my oldest son had landed his dream job at... Sony PlayStation Network here in San Diego. (laughs) So my intention was working out quite nicely. Some of my kids were coming down, things were coming together, and it was time for me to move. So I set out to find a place to move, and I found a small apartment in Encinitas. And it wasn't exactly what I wanted, but I felt like it was a really good first step. I could get into this little apartment, downsize from our family house, and look around and explore. It was really close to the downtown area, so I could walk to restaurants and be by the beach. And so I said yes. I signed the contract and submitted my deposit. A week went by, and I received an email from the landlord saying that he had to cancel our agreement because the tenant had decided not to move out. So I'd already begun to go through my all my possessions and had scheduled my flights and my um, transportation for my furniture and all that stuff. And rather than taking it negatively, I got excited and I thought, huh, this is something greater. So I popped on Craigslist and I saw this condo. It didn't look very good. The pictures weren't that great, but I followed my intuition and I called the woman who had made the listing and asked her about the condo. From what she said, it sounded great. So I scheduled a flight down three days later. And I pulled up to the condo and I was sitting in the car waiting for her to arrive. And I was coaching one of my clients, Kim. I will never forget this moment. And as I'm sitting there coaching Kim, I had this flashback. I saw myself and my friend Jay walking up the sidewalk, pushing the stroller with his little son in it. And walking into this condo that had happened seven years ago, I was parked in front of the very condo that I'd fallen in love with and didn't even realize it. I didn't know the area that well seven years ago. I didn't recognize that I was in the exact same spot. And from there, within moments, the um, owner arrived, I walked through the condo, I signed an agreement, and moved on to a bluff that is the most magical place I have ever experienced. There's wildlife and nature and the sound of the ocean and this grassy spot with no one out there. I've moved my own little chairs out there. I work out there. I absolutely love it here. That is an example of the power of intention and then following the clues, the synchronicity, the things that show up, not judging what shows up, not being upset because, oh, the landlord canceled my contract. No, the universe was rallying on my behalf. That was the step that was required to get me to commit to move 
on the dates that I committed to move and start the ball rolling so that I could move in to the condo that I had discovered so many years ago. Now, I use this in my business as well. Yes, I have structure. I have systems and processes. And I watch for clues. I trust my own growth, my own knowing, my own intuition, and make decisions from there. And I encourage you to do the same thing. Everything you want is available to you. The real question is, what questions are you asking yourself? And what do you give attention to? Energy flows where attention goes. Where is your attention? What questions are you asking? Are you open to the process unfolding in a way that you could never begin to conjure up on your own? I hope this inspires you to remember that everything you want is available to you. So that's my creating wealth segment for this week. I've got some exciting episodes coming up. We're going to be talking about some of the practical parts of business in Thursday's episode when I cover how to choose a program and a package and a price for your online courses, your coaching programs, your masterminds, whatever you're offering to the world to support them in their transformation. So be sure you tune in for that. And also check it out on Instagram. We've got a lot of great information for you. We love to connect there. Send me questions if there's anything you want me to address. Stay caught up with the podcast. We post them over there as well. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all the comments and reviews and feedback we're getting on the podcast. It's my honor to be of service to you. And as always, remember... Be real, take a stand, and change lives. Bye for now. Most entrepreneurs experience chaos, confusion, and overwhelm before they even complete their first year in business. I believe success as an entrepreneur depends on aligning your core values with your market value so you can create real and lasting success which is why I've created a brand new program titled Align. I want to show you how to tap into your greatest value and share it with confidence, clarity, and ease so you can move into the big vision you have for yourself without struggle. And this program is absolutely free for you. Just go and register now at pattykeating.com forward slash align to join the program now.